What is good, YouTube? If you don't know, you better ask somebody because it's your boy, More Talent Than Just, and we are back with another build video. I'm telling you, I got the best builds for y'all out there. Anywhere y'all gonna find, y'all gonna find the best builds with More Talent Than Just. And today, we got a super banger. We dropping back-to-back -back bangers, matter of fact. Today, we got that Lonzo Bull build, and tomorrow, y'all gotta come back because we dropping that LaMelo build, and that build is going to be fire as well. So I'm telling you, I got the best builds for y'all. Today we got the Lonzo, and this build is about to be a problem, man. I ain't gonna lie. Let's get right into this video. We got the first name Lonzo, last name Ball. We got him at point guard. We put him right-handed. Jersey number two, and you know, you already know y'all gonna like these builds, because a lot of y'all on 2K this year, y'all can't help but make these point guards a tall point guard. So you know Lonzo is 6'6", and LaMelo is 6'7", so y'all love these tall point guards, and I got y'all. Everybody mess with the Bull Brothers, I ain't going front, they some funny individuals, you know what I mean, and they can hoop. So today we got the Lonzo Bull build, and right now we got his height at 6'6", let's go ahead and move that up. We left the weight at 205, we wasn't really worried about that, we put, we put the wingspan up. Um, for de defensive purposes, because you know, you know, Lonzo gonna play some defense. If y'all don't know, y'all better go look, check the highlights out, because he be locking up when he got to. And we gonna put the body shape defined. I bet. Let's get into these attributes. I already know why y'all come here. Y'all coming for these attributes, but I be in the builders for mad long. I be in the my player builder for mad long, trying to make the perfect build for y'all so it can play exactly how the um, NBA players. And then this Lonzo build, this Lonzo ball build is crazy. Right, so we got the close shot all the way up to 67. I'm not even worried about that. You already know if you watch my other videos or my highlights, you definitely gonna be making uh, uh points in the paint with a 67 close shot. So we're not worried about that. 2K still gonna allow you to make that, especially when you get a lot of open. You'll get a lot of open down there if you're taking good shots. Now driving layup, we uh know Lonzo's a good finisher in the paint. So I didn't make his driving layup crazy high, but you know how I like the layup to be high just so you can finish. So you put the layup all the way up to 87. So at 87, this allows you to get gold acrobat. Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame. Now I say this a lot. Giant Slayer is a real good uh, badge um, to use this year for finishing. And also another good badge is Fearless Finisher. So Fearless Finisher is a great badge. When you pair with Giant, uh, Giant Slayer and badges like Slithery, you get Slithery on Silver. If we, uh, if we go over here, you get it on silver. I had to move that back. So once you pair these badges together well, it's going to allow you to make so many layups in the paint. I'm trying to tell you. We got the driving dunk all the way up to a 86 because y'all know Lonzo could throw that ball down. He not like his other brothers. He be flying through the air. He got some hops. I ain't going to lie to you. We ain't seen Lonzo in a while because he been hurt, but the boy got some hops. So we put that all the way up to 86 so we can get that... Uh, that limitless takeoff on gold. And if y'all been playing 2K for these two months, three months have been out, y'all know limitless takeoff on gold is kind of OP in itself. You be flying through the air if you got the right dunk packages on. So we got to put that at 86 for your boy Lonzo. We left the standard dunk at a 31. We're not worried about that uh, that much. And if you didn't know, if you come over here and you put Raz up on bronze, it allows you to make a lot of standing dunks. Like, even if your player can't really stand and dunk that much, if you put it on bronze, it allows you to, give, it like, gives you the animations to stand and dunk easy. I don't know why, but try it out. So we're not worried about putting his standing dunk up that much. Now, shooting. Lonzo was not known as one of the best shooters, especially when he came into the league. Everybody said to work on his jump shot. So I didn't know exactly where to put this uh, shooting at. But we, we got it. We got it to make it look like uh, Lonzo's jump shot and everything. Because last year, the year before he got injured with his first year on the Bulls or something like that, he was close to like 40, if not over 40% from the three-point line. So we're going to put his shooting right where it needs to be for this build to be like uh, the real Lonzo Ball. So we got his mid-range all the way out of 70. We're not, we not worried about that too much. 70 mid-range, you definitely going to be able to green that still. But I didn't want to make it super high because Lonzo don't have a real super high mid-range himself. So I put it at a 70 so you'll be able to green it if you open. You know what I mean? But we, let's, get, let's get over to the three-pointer. Three-point shot, we put all the way up to 83. Now, y'all know you knocking this down in 2K. 2K, you definitely you definitely making this 83-3. I think this is the same three-point shot I have on my Ja Morant. And if y'all seen my highlights with that Ja Morant, y'all know I'll be cooking it up with this with the uh, with threes, dunks, everything with that build. And his three-point shot is an 83. So we're going to put Lonzo's at an 82. 
And that allows you to get guard up on gold, green machine on gold, uh, catch and shoot on gold, corner specialist, Hall of Fame step back. And it even allows you to get dead out on silver, agent threes on silver, and blinders on silver. I'm telling you, you're going to be able to knock down this three. Lonzo not no crazy three-point shooter, so 83-3 is definitely good enough for Lonzo. Now, free throw, we was able to put this up to 82, and you good with that too, and you're going to be knocking that down. Now, let's get into the playmaker. Lonzo is an elite playmaker. He has some real good doms. He be throwing dots. You know what I mean? The boy can pass, him and his brother. If y'all didn't hear earlier, that LaMelo ball build will be dropping tomorrow, so make sure y'all come back for that build. It's about to be crazy as well. So Lonzo's pass accuracy, we put this all the way up to 86. And the reason we put it up to 86 is so we can get this right here. If you look right here, we got needle threader on gold. Now, when you put when you put needle threader on, it boosts your it like it helps boost your pass accuracy during the games and everything like that. And it allows you to make passes in tight windows. So if you're throwing like bounce passes, stuff like that, anything. Yo, this, this needle throwing badge is really good this year. Like, it's way better than the other years, 2K, uh, 22, 21, any of those years. Needle thrower is a real good badge this year, so you want to throw that on. So I had to put the pass accuracy high for Lonzo. We put it to 86. Now, ball handle, we put it all the way up to 85 because you're going to be running point guard. And since you're going to be running point guard, we got to put the uh, ball handle at an 85 to get unpluckable on gold right here. But not just that. It also gives you quick first step on gold. And hyperdrive on goal. So you you definitely going to be good with an 85. I was thinking about moving it up to get Clint Breaker and Killer Combos. But Lonzo got handles. But he, his handles not super, super crazy. Where he be crossing people up all the time. He more of like a, a playmaker, a passive point guard. He a pass first point guard. So we just let the ball handle at an 85. Now, speed with ball. We put this all the way up to 80. Because the boy kind of quick with the ball. And that allowed us to get an extra badge. That allowed us to get 23 uh, playmaker badges right there when you boost that up to 80. So this is how it is right here. We got the 86 pass accuracy, 85 ball handle with the 80 ball with, I mean, speed with ball. Come on now. All right, defense. Now, y'all know Lonzo is an elite defender. He's a real good defender. He be guarding some of the best players on the other team, best wing players on the other team. So we had to put defense on this build. And we put the perimeter defense all the way up to 87. Now, what this is going to give you is ankle braces on Hall of Fame, off-ball pests on Hall of Fame. Workhorse is a real good badge this year, too. It pops up basically all the time. When the ball is, like, in, in nobody's hand, workhorse pops up basically all the time, and it makes your player quicker, able to get to the uh, basketball quicker. You get menace on Hall of Fame, which is a real good badge this year, too. If you haven't checked my other videos, check them out. I've been saying menace is a real good badge. You need to be equipping this badge. A uh, pick dodger on gold with challenger on gold and clamps on silver. So 87 perimeter defense is real high this year. You're going to be good. You're going to be locking people up. And we know Lonzo can get some steals too. So we put a steal all the way up to 85. So you can get some plucks. That allows you to get interceptor on silver and glove on silver. So you can interchange those two. Put one of those on. You can put both of those on if you want. But I'm telling you, you will be able to play um, defense with this build. And we got the block at a 75 because he could get a chase down every now and then. And we want this to be a defensive build as good as it can score and pass. So we had to put that up just in case somebody get past you. Which they not with this perimeter defense at 87. But just in case they do, we want to put that on. You know why? Because 75 gives you that gold chase that artist. So we putting that thing off the backboard. And you can get ink on bronze if you want to throw that on. But this gold chase that artist, boy, you're going to be sending stuff off the backboard. And so we let's let's get into rebounding next. And we already know Lonzo will get some triple doubles. He's like one of the youngest players to get triple doubles and all that stuff. Him and his brother, you know what I mean? They they, they like grabbing rebounds, they like stuffing the stat sheet. So we had to put the rebound to high. And not only did we put the rebound to high, this gave us more defensive badges. So we put the offensive rebound at an 85. Boom, give us some more badges. And then we put the defensive rebound at an 85. So you're not only going to be scoring with this build, you're not only going to be passing with this build, but you're going to be able to defend and grab rebounds. So you you could get a triple-double every game if you want to because you're going to have that much, like, you're going to have that, your rebound is that high and your scoring and, and playmaking is good. So you could, if you like that and you want to play like Lonzo, you want to get those triple-doubles, this is the build for you. All right, let's put the speed. We left the speed at a 75 and acceleration at a 75 as well. Now, I'm not going to lie. On this 2K, is kind of weird to me. Like, the 70 speed 
And then the 80 speed does not feel that different for me. I'm not going to lie to you. 70 speed and 80 speed feels kind of the same to me. So I put it in the middle. But if you want to put the speed down just a little bit, or if you want to raise it up, you can put the acceleration down and move, move, move things around how you want. But I'm telling you, 70 and 80 speed kind of feel the same to me. But I put the speed at a 75, so you could be catching people too, um, running around the court as you, as you wish. Now, we left the strength at a 37. Let's put that down. And the vertical, we put up to a 75. So the reason we put up the vertical up to a 75, because the driver dunk is an 86. So in order to get the contact dunks off one and the contact dunks off two, you need to have at least a vertical of a 75 and an 86 driving dunk. So that's the reason we did that. So you could catch some contact dunks. I already know how y'all like playing on 2K, man. Y'all want to get those contact dunks and y'all want to get those highlight plays. And we got the Lonzo build for you. That's going to do it. And we uh, we got the stamina. If you watch my other videos, you already know I like the stamina. I like at least a 90. And we got the stamina at a 91 for this build. So this is the this is the Lonzo build right here. This is about to be a triple double machine. I'm trying to tell you how to do everything. Look, you get 17 finishing badges, 17 shooting badges, 23 playmaking, and 25 defense. And the physicals is good. 75 speed, 75 acceleration, 75 vertical. So you can grab even more of those rebounds with a 91 stamina. Come on now. Stop playing. Stop playing. Right, let's get into the next part of the vid. Uh, Lonzo's a playmaker, so I'll probably put team ratings boost, and then I'll come over here, put extreme clamps on, just so we can lock people up a little bit more. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. I already know what it's going to say, but it, I'm just trying to hype it up for y'all. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to hype it up for y'all. Steve Francis, and who in the middle right there? I'm telling y'all, being the builders for hours, trying to make the best builds for y'all. So if y'all can give your boy a like, it's going to be really appreciated. Subscribe and all of that, comments, everything. Uh, we got Lonzo Ball in the middle, and then we're going to end that off with Drew Holiday. Come on now. You have built a two-way diamond three-point shooter. That's Lonzo right there. You're going to be hooping with this build, but I'm not going to leave y'all hanging. I'm going to show y'all what badges I would put on to make this build super OP and make it as good as you want so you could be playing real good. I'm telling y'all, you got to put this fearless finish on. It's a real good badge. You're going to be making everything in that paint. Uh, we're going to put Acrobat. On silver, come down here. We're going to core limitless takeoff. That's an easy badge to core because you're going to be getting that, getting them animations a lot. Then we're going to move over here, put slithery on silver. You get one extra badge, and I come back up here and throw that on giant slayer or acrobat. I'm going to put on acrobat just for right now. And you get 17 shooting badges. You want to put catch and shoot on, uh, corner specialist. And then let's move down here. I'll probably only put blinders on and then core that whenever it gets core. So you have seven extra badges. Come up here. You know, Lonzo do step backs every now, now and then. So, you go put that on us on gold. And then you can put the other two, whatever you want. Guard up, Claymore, clutch shooter, just to help you shoot a little bit better. Come back, kid. I'll probably put it on Claymore just to help you shoot at the uh, perimeter. Now, playmaker, unpluckable is a must if you run a point guard. If you don't have a pluckable on and you have point guard, those cheesy locks are going to be trying to steal the ball from you every single time. So you want to throw a pluckable on. Quick first step on gold. Hyper drive on gold. And then let's get down here. You can put on clamp breaker, killer combos, mismatch expert, whatever you want. But I'll probably leave all of those off. Put needle threader on gold and dimer so you can boost your uh, teammate shot percentages and then put break starter on, on bronze because you're going to be grabbing rebounds. You're going to grab a whole bunch of rebounds with this build. So you want to throw break starter on, grab a rebound. You're going to get even more assists. You probably, yo, this build, you probably be getting like 12 rebounds, 12 assists, 20 points, 25 points. Like, this is a crazy build. Like, this might be one of my next builds. I ain't going to lie. I don't know which build I'm making this. I made my Zion. If I didn't see my Zion, check out them highlights. Them highlights go crazy. That Zion build is OP. Super crazy, but I'm making another player after Zion, and I don't know him yet. This might be it. I'm telling you, this is a triple-double machine. It's going to play exactly like Lonzo, so it might. this might be my next build. All right, let's get into defense. You know we're throwing on Chase now. Put that on. Menace, we're going to put on gold just for right now. And then let's get down here and put Challenger. We're going to core this. This is easy badge to core. Put clamps on just to help us out a little bit. Then you can put one of these on. You know what I mean? You can put glove on, or you can put on Interceptor. I'll probably put on glove because I get a lot of steals without interceptor on. So I'll put this on, come back up here, put Hall of Fame Menace on now. Now you got two extra badges. You're going to throw on Workhorse just to help you get to the basketball a little bit quicker. And I'm telling you, this is the Lonzo Bull build right here. I'm telling you, I got the Bull Brothers. I got LaMelo dropping tomorrow. So come back for more. But I'm telling you, 
This is my Lonzo Ball build right here. And if you like the video, give your boy a like, man. And if you want me to drop any NBA uh, players in the future, leave a comment down below. I'm going to check out the comments. I'll be looking at your comments, man. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to your boy. Subscribe to your boy, More Talent Just. I'm telling y'all, we going up 2K23. I got the best jump shots, the best builds, the best content. I'm telling y'all, we going up, man. If y'all been supporting me, I appreciate all the support for real, man. I love y'all more than y'all know. And you already know, More Talent out.